Greetings, grade 6 students. Welcome to our English class. Today, it's grammar. Before we start, I'd like to redirect your attention to have with you your Reader's and Writer's Notebook, English Copybook, as well as your pen. Thank you. For today, we will define conjunctions, differentiate coordinating conjunctions from subordinating conjunctions, use coordinating and subordinating conjunctions correctly in meaningful sentences. Let's begin. What is conjunction? A conjunction is a part of speech that is used to connect words, phrases, clauses, or sentences. Conjunctions are considered to be invariable grammar particle, and they may or may not stand between items they conjoin. A conjunction is a word which connects two words or clauses or sentences and phrases and shows the relation between them. They are used to avoid making the text seem like bullet points and to make the text flow. There are three types of conjunctions, coordinating conjunctions, subordinating conjunctions, and correlative conjunctions. At this time, we will zero in to the two types coordinating and subordinating conjunctions. What do we mean when we say coordinating conjunctions? They are used to link or join two words or phrases that are equally important and complete in terms of grammar when compared with each other. Examples of this, we have for, and, nor, but, or, yet, and soon, or simply they are the fun boys. On the other hand, subordinating conjunctions are used to join an independent and complete clause with a dependent clause that relies on the main clause for meaning and relevance. Examples, although, as, before, once, though, until, whether, and many more. Let's try to take a look at the coordinating conjunctions. On the left side, you have the fun boys or the so-called for, and, nor, but, or, yet, and so. At the middle portion, we have the meaning. For means because or since, and meaning to say in addition to. Nor, and not, but, however, or either, yet, but, so, therefore. Take a look at the right side. There are examples provided. I'm going to read, follow with your eyes. I have to find a job for I am unemployed. I'm a husband and father. Neither my parents nor my friends supported me. I have got a home, but I haven't got a car. Which color do you like, red or blue? Tom plays basketball well, yet his favorite sport is football. She was sick, so she couldn't attend the meeting. These are examples of coordinating conjunctions. Next slide, we have the same coordinating conjunctions and their examples. I'm going to pause this video and you can read it by yourself. Well done, grade 6 students. Next. The same coordinating conjunctions. They are used to link or join two words or phrases that are equally important and complete in terms of grammar when compared with each other. The sentences or words do not depend on anything to give themselves meaning. You can pause this video and I'd like you to use the fun boys in your own sentences. You can write your answers in your English copybook.
Well done, grade 6 students, for writing your own sentences using the coordinating conjunctions. This time, we will try to study subordinating conjunctions. Let's try to define what the subordinating conjunctions mean. It's used to join an independent and complete clause with a dependent clause that relies on the main clause for meaning and relevance. Moreover, it comes before the dependent clause, but the dependent clause itself can be placed either ahead of or following the independent clause. Meaning to say, the position of the dependent clause, whether placed at the beginning of the sentence or at the end of the sentence, does not change the meaning of the independent clause. Let's take a look at the examples here. Soon after moving to London, she got a new job. She got a new job is our independent clause. Soon after moving to London, is your dependent clause and the subordinating conjunctions that they use there is the word soon now let's take the reverse we will begin the sentence the independent clause she got a new job followed by the dependent clause soon after moving to london let's read the sentence one more time she got a new job soon after moving to london Grade 6 students, as you noticed, the meaning of the sentence does not change whether the position of the subordinate clause, or should I say, yes, the dependent clause, was placed at the beginning or at the end of the sentence. Take another example. He decided to go, although I beg him not to. Or we can also say, although I beg him not to go, he decided not to go. You can go on with the remaining examples, but I'd like to call your attention on this particular issue. As you noticed that the dependent clause and the independent clause are normally separated by the comma. That is why, as you can see in this next example, as soon as I saw her, comma, I knew there was something wrong. As soon as I saw her, that is your dependent clause. And the remaining group of words, which is, I knew there was something wrong, that's the independent clause. You can go on and read the following sentences. Here are other examples of subordinating conjunctions. Read with me. After, although, as, because, before, even if, even though, if, in order that, once, provided that, rather than, since, so that, than, that, though, unless, until, when, whenever, where, whereas, wherever, whether, while, and why. You can pause this video and I'd like you to choose five of them and you can use them in your own sentences. You can write your answers in your English copybook. Grade 6 students, I'd like to redirect your attention to these 20 sentences using subordinating conjunctions. I'd like you to read them one by one and understand how they are being used in the sentences. After which, I'd like you to compare your sentences with these 20 sentences as an example. If there is a need for you to revise your sentences, you may do so. Moreover, you can still write more sentences in such a way that you can practice writing correct sentences. Thank you. For more information with regards to coordinating and subordinating conjunctions, my grade 6 students, click and follow the link, watch the video carefully, listen attentively, and understand comprehensively. This video will help you understand more of our lessons on coordinating and subordinating conjunctions. Thus, 
It will help you to write better and meaningful sentences. Happy viewing, grade 6 students! After viewing the link, I'd like to redirect your attention to your Readers and Writers Notebook on Conjunctions, pages 399, 406, and 443. Dear grade 6 students, I'd like to call your attention that when you answer these pages, please consider the following. 1. Please write neatly and legibly. Write on the line and copy the correct words. Thank you. Grade 6 students, it has been a wonderful and meaningful day with you again. As we end our session, today I'd like to call your attention that ending my session with you today doesn't mean that you're going to close your notebooks and your laptops. It simply means that please go back with the lesson. If you still need to understand more, please watch the video, read your readers and writers notebook and practice writing sentences using subordinating and coordinating conjunctions have a nice day thank you so much god bless us all bye bye